Hi everyone, it's Jadon, and in this video I'm going to um, show you that uh, the 1.13.0.15. etc 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 update for Minecraft, and um, this update actually seems pretty cool. Not only did it add foxes on this update, and uh, well that was past update actually, but you know plenty of other stuff like the movement, chat settings and stuff like that, you know a little uh, special stuff. They changed the UI as well on the menu, and they changed the UI a little in the marketplace. And uh, last thing I want to talk about, uh, I'm mainly going to talk about is um, this thing right here that says profile. So um, yeah, let's just take a glance at this. Uh, as you see, I have my custom skin here. And, um, yeah, so as you see right here, um, there's some other stuff that says create character, and, uh, you can also view your achievements and stuff like that, too, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's why the UI and the menu looks very small, because there's no achievements here. It used to be, but now there isn't. Well, on the, on the public version, there is the achievements, but on beta, for now, there's, like, no achievements, and, uh, the font text looks a lot different, too. Um, other than that... There's the settings as well. I don't know why the settings in this part, although it's in the mark uh, in, in the menu too. But anyhow, let me get on to the point. Is uh, you can actually create your own avatar character like that. Um, basically another skin. But um, if you already saw it when I accidentally clicked on this, you can cl uh, create a new character. I think it automatically gives you Alex or Steve. I don't know. I think it just does it. But uh, to me, I got Alex, and if you look closely, you can see the character actually blinking a little. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so Alex or Steve or whatever your character is, they actually blink now. But it only works on, like, skins for, like, Alex or Steve or the skin creator, which I'm about to show you right now. And to access your skins, you can go here, and uh, as you see, if you go to own, you get all your regular skins that you have purchased before and your custom skin, which is right here. So, um... I don't know if custom skins are going to be on a uh, console, they're more likely probably not, but I wish they would if they were able to, but um, yeah, I might make another video about uh, custom skins being on console edition, but <clears throat> that's a whole new story. Anyways, let me go to uh, body, and as you see, you got a lot of cool stuff, and actually, if you think about it, this reminds me of that one mod for the uh, Minecraft PC edition where you can view on uh, like there was like this one mod where you guys should like edit your character like edit the mouth the eyes have it, the eyes blink and have the size different too but now we're out of that situation and talk about that but now let's go to the base now as base you can actually choose what kind of uh head you want on your skin color um kind of like a me maker a little but you know a little bit more minecrafty like so yeah you can have steve's face with a little beard like you can have alex's face with her um shiny skin and you have other skins and presets that minecraft has given you uh, unfortunately you can't use your custom skin to blink neither so that's one thing that kind of sucks too and you can't use your custom skin to have like all these uh features i'm about to show you so the slender skin which is i think is just a plain uh preset then you get brawny which uh makes you look buffer then uh i don't know how to pronounce that sorry but uh, I don't know what's around this, so I'm just gonna say I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, let's just go for slender skin since I'm gonna make myself. I'm gonna make a little skin like this. Uh, let's see. All right, next up is the eyes. The, the eyes has like a lot of uh, presets too. Um, to be honest, they're pretty cool. They have uh some notable Minecraft eyes on here too. As you see, like, the eyes actually blink. They have a pretty cool uh, feature of that, too. Like, uh, the Cyclops' eyes are also blink, too, I believe. Yep. And we got all these other cool stuff, too. Different eyeballs. That actually looks pretty cool. It looks like something that somebody made online. Then you get crying eyes. You can't really see it because sometimes your uh, face will probably be in the way. Um, get it off. Alright. So, um, now that I got that out of the way... Let's just choose an eye and uh, let me turn the volume down because that's very loud. <laughs> Alright, um, oh, that's so funny. Not sure if you saw that. <laughs> it's like the eyes, like, they twist. That's so funny. Googly eyes. I love that. Alright, uh, I guess I'll go for this eye. This might be green since my favorite color is always green. And to reset them, you can always press none right here, too. 
I mean, I know the UI on the skin creator looks a little disorienting, but it looks very creative, you know? Other than that, um... You go to the mouth, too, you can make a lot of silly mouths. The majority of them seem very silly, in my opinion. Because they're so close to your eyes. Yeah, really, really cool. I think the, the most casual one, somebody might... Uh, really good, huh? But I think the one, the casual that somebody might get was, uh... Probably be... Just these two, the uh, Steve or Alex ones. Uh, I'll go for the Steve one. Uh, let's see. Make it like. Oh, there's a lot of uh, mouth colors. I like that. Alright, I guess I'll go for this. And um, actually, now that I think about it, let me go to back to the eyes and just get the default eyes. It looks, uh, it looks very basic. Alright, um, now to the hair. Now, uh, let's see, the hairstyles, which I really love, and how Minecraft actually acknowledged this now, is how, um, the, uh, hairs actually have 3D models in it. As you see, like, they're very popped out. Other than, you know, have, like, the overlay side, they're actually 3D model, uh, hair now. Which, uh, also goes for the other stuff I'm about to show you soon, as well. So, I think the one, they're actually pretty, there actually is pretty, uh, cool hairstyles out here it looks pretty unique <clears throat> also depending on the hair color you have too okay make it green and all that I'll make mine brown since my hair color is brown looks pretty cool all right um let me scroll to this see which hair I want probably get the bed hair I feel like there's like more hairs on his now that I think about it I mean it looks like there was because last time I checked this I don't think there wasn't this much hair unless the UI changed a little Alright, um, I guess I'll get the bed head. It's literally me every single time I wake up in the morning, it's all shaggy and everything. Alright, um, right here, I meant to not get the, the, um, I did not mean to get the standard one, I meant to get the, uh, freaking bushy, uh, eyebrows. Uh, I ain't saying because my eyebrows bushy, it's just, I wish there was like a eyes on this that was actually has eyebrows without it looking all wacky and everything. Anyways, I'm, I'm mentioning about the eyes too much. But, um, Next is the facial hair, which uh, is for grown-up people, <laughs> or mostly man. Well, um, I gotta admit, Minecraft really did uh, did a good job on the mustaches and the beards. They actually look pretty cool. Um, I think the one that looks mostly unique is, well, the top two. I'll probably say this one and this one. Just saying because, like, I, I love how they did, like, the beards. Like, it looks very detailed. Like, not just beard. Yeah. Uh, let's see next up is the arms so this one's pretty cool especially for people that you know uh, sadly lost their arms and had to get a little mechanical one or some of that sorry people but uh, there's a couple actually I gotta mention there's some of these things that you gotta purchase as well or majority of them actually but uh, some of these are actually free which uh, like I said there's some of these for like people you know that accidentally lost their arms but as you see the mechanical I gotta admit it actually looks pretty cool and see, you can also have it for your right arm as well. And, uh, yeah. I gotta admit, like, Minecraft really did do a good job on this. I did not expect them to do this. But, the thing I'm really excited about is that how this may come to this, uh, like, other consoles. I was about to say Switch, but I just realized there's other versions of Bedrock out there, too. Which I hope it may come to Switch. Alright, anyways, um, let's see. Next up is the legs. Um, the legs is basically the same that thing from the arms, but on the legs, basically. Just scrolling around them a little. But I don't think I'm really gonna like purchase them or uh, get them, especially if I don't have any money with it. Anyhow, um, so, let's just keep that the same. Oops, need to go there. All right. So this is what I was talking about, your size. You can make your character very short, uh, a little bit taller, like a little 10 year old or something like that. You make yourself look uh, default size, and then you can make yourself look grown up, tall. Which uh, I actually love this. This is actually a pretty cool thing. Like I said, I remember this from uh, a mod as well that I used to have on a uh, Java Edition. But um, I haven't played Java Edition like in decades. <laughs> All right. Um, the arm size is basically you know having yourself <clears throat> uh, Steve arms or Alex arm, which is 64 by 32 or 64 by 64 pixels. So, um, sound like a nerd when I said that. Alright. 
other than that, uh, now we're gonna go to the styles. So basically, basically your uh, your outfits, your clothing, you know, shirts, shoes, etc., stuff like that. All right, so uh, there's actually pretty cool sets of outfits that you can have. Some of them are presets, you know. So yeah, they got a diver. You got a little cool dress on here. Make yourself look like Frozen from uh, <laughs> Frozen. So um, to be honest, I actually like some of these because they. I don't know why. Like when I saw these, like these presets and some of that, like they reminded me of Minecraft Story Mode so much because. Minecraft Story Mode always makes like the most classic skins or like outfits and skins like this. Like, uh, I'll probably like go for this outfit for example, I guess. I mean, it kind of matches my skin color, but really it's supposed to be like a classic shirt. Kind of reminds me of something like that. Or, um, something like this, basically. Kind of remind me of, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name, but he was on Minecraft Story Mode. Made no, but I forgot. But, um, or this one. Actually, now that I think about it, this one actually looks pretty cool. I actually love this one. And the thing is, the majority of these outfits are very cheap. They're probably like a dollar. Yeah, it's like a dollar here. But I know some of them might cost like 120 uh, mine coins. Which I wish that uh, mine coins were more specific than having like to pay like $2 for like 320 Where you can just pay one for just 120 But anyways, um, so yeah, back to the outfit stuff. Now that I think about it, I really want to get that tunic one. The, the tunic one actually looks pretty lit. But I remember the one that caught my eye. Oh, I like the t-shirt too. It looks pretty cool. The one that caught my eye was the uh, green hoodie. I actually like this. Or, I don't think this is a hoodie. I think it's like a little tunic. But, um... I hope this is not a feminine tunic. I mean, it looks pretty cool. But, uh, anyways. Let's select this one because this one actually looks pretty cool. You can go to the headwear, which is just your hats. Stuff like this. I think got a little wolf ears too. I might get this one too, since uh, wolves are pretty cool too. Then we got a uh, diamond tiara. I don't think I've seen that one. I think I did. Yeah, I did. So yeah, uh, yeah. There's other uh, freaking cool outfits. There's even headphones on here. Three model, like I said. So um, yeah. Like I said, they're probably like a dollar just to get one. But I recommend probably using the mine coins because I know most of these stuff are literally just a dollar, as you see. But some of these are like two dollars, as you, uh, like uh, the one that just went past by. I think it was this one. Yeah, the crown is like two dollars, but I mean it's worth it though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next is the gloves. So the gloves actually look pretty decent. They actually look pretty cool. There's like claw hands that you can get. Um. Like a little watch wrist, which is pretty cheap. I mean, I, I understand why is it cheap, but uh, yeah, you got fingerless gloves, which I actually like that one. I wish I was free. You know, little bracelets and stuff like that. And little gauntlets, I think. I uh, wish I had this gloves because these actually look pretty cool. Anyhow, uh, so uh, next, I guess we'll go to the footwear, which is basically your shoes, actually. If you think about it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, plenty of shoes. Some of these 3D model. I think this one is morally, uh, or not morally, is more 3D model. So, uh, but I think the one I'll personally get is this one, the shoes. Also, uh, let me go to bottom because I meant to swap, uh, pants too. I don't think I went to pants. Oops. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go to this one. Um, uh, that's weird. I'm going to Royal Bree. Okay, there you go. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. That green jeans actually kind of match my uh, shirt tunic. Oh uh, yeah, like I said, pants have pretty cool stuff. They actually have overalls. It really does look pretty cool. You can make like a Mario character out of this with 3D models, I tell you. So you got nether pants too. You have to mention that uh, I think there is like a nether set you can get on here. But uh, I think in my opinion it's kind of expensive. And I find it funny how um, they kind of copied Fortnite a little with the uh, filter. As you see like... At, uh, besides fill overalls there's like a word that says uncommon on the side and some of these are like common uncommon rare you know it's kind of like fortnite a little but i don't think there's none that's like legendary or epic or something like that <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't think that's a rating i don't know of when i pass these stuff but i think the common one i might get is a oh i don't want no skirt i don't want to wear that um I'll probably wear some blue jeans. Looks very K 
casual. Alright, um, let's see. So, I think the last two things, I think, is the back item, which is just a wolf tail. I think I purchased this one already. It was very cheap. So, um, you don't need to equip that for now. Then you got your goggles and everything like that, your glasses. They actually do look pretty cool, I gotta admit. Yeah, they do look pretty cool. Even the glasses look pretty cool. Wow. I mean, I know these, some of these are made by other people, but I think uh, Minecraft really did a good, did, did good, did a good job. Dang it, I keep stuttering. But, uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, I don't think that's, I don't think that's everything. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, last thing before I show off some actual gameplay. Now, the uh, outerwear actually is a pretty cool uh, thing to go to, uh, other than just looking for your shirts. You get like coats, big jackets like this, and hoodies. And you see, even a hoodie is 3D model, which I like that too. Or it's actually a jacket, but um, other than that, like I said, there's actually a nether set, I believe. And I don't know if this is like a 3D model cape, or is that like an actual cape that actually moves? And, if they actually do add capes on here for like your custom skin character, that would be unique. But um, I think the best that I really like is these uh, two armor things because they actually look pretty cool. They actually stand out, and I love the shoulder pads. Like uh, on this Wither Skeleton, it actually stands out from the others. So um, yeah, like I said, there's other pretty cool stuff like a little tuxedo jacket, diamond pendant, some of that. Basically a necklace, which that actually looks pretty cool. Um. Then there's this little uh, surcoat pickaxe thing. It basically looks like the cape, but as a surcoat. How the heck you pronounce it? Yeah, it really does. I actually do love these. They actually look pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I think the... Oh, wait, no, this is a nether coat. Okay. Well, like I said, this... I think this was probably like the best follow along with this as well. So, um, yeah, I probably want to get that one soon, like I said. And I think that's everything I got from the skin creator, so we just back out. Well, well first, let me just look through this. I see I got the jeans and the hair and all that. Now I can back out. Now, as you see, it says the creator or skin creator, whoever it is, has been saved. And I think you can only make up to, like, five characters. kind of sucks. I wish you could make more, but I guess it has something to do with storage issues or something like that in Minecraft. So... Um, I hope that the gameplay I'm about to do does not crash. So, um, yeah, let's just try to play this out. Also, I have something to mention. Uh, for some reason, like, the character model, like, in inventory and whenever I use armor, like, it, it looks very disorienting for some reason. I, I know this is the beta version, and they just added this, like, a, a couple hours ago. So, yeah, I, could, I already expected some bugs to happen for this, uh, skin and uh skin creator and stuff like that all right so uh like i was saying like the skin looks kind of spat out a little kind of see a little it's kind of a little spaz out so um let me change my perspective okay Man, i remember my other phone like the perspective like you or like going to settings used to take like three hours just try to go back to uh, freaking settings not really three hours, but it takes a while. Anyhow, um, yeah, I think the skin actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like the inventory of the skin just looks very disoriented. And I think whenever I select something like the lighter or the map, you see how like the he's not even holding the map. Like that map is like not even on him for some reason. I don't know why. Like I said, it's a it's a uh, beta, so what do you expect? Uh, let me change my perspective. Oops. Alright. Like I said, it has a bug, so yeah, you're going to see some stuff spazzing out a little. But other than that, I really love how this uh, skin turned out. Instead of like, drawing your own skin, taking like colors to make one, you can just make one here. Well, it won't look perfect, but... Heck, you still have a skin creator, so I guess you can do it. But um, I think Minecraft's way of... A skin creator it actually does look pretty cool i mean i wish minecraft would have made a skin creator from the beginning so you don't have to really uh have uh copy skins and all that 
<clears throat> or making a skin all by yourself and uh, I don't know if this is normal but the ducking animation or the duck like it looks very weird and different you see it a little kind of looks funny I don't know if that's a thing in Minecraft but um, I guess I'll just show off some, some few things from the skin or how it looks uh, like how I'm swimming then I'll show you how it looks when I'm gliding uh, like, yeah that's kind of weird <laughs> how the freaking elytra does not connect to my hand yeah it does look pretty cool like I said like the outfits and stuff like that really do remind me of a uh, Minecraft story mode and I like how the character blinks still as well <laughs> <coughs> alright anyways uh next up is oh my lord that is so weird even the uh leather stuff or the throwing anything I guess the next thing I'll show off is the trident. Like I said, it's kind of messed up. It looks very creepy. It looks like I just got stabbed by it. So, um, I think same thing with the bow. We'll probably do the same thing. But, anyhow, I think that's it that I gotta show for the rest of this video. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. And, like and subscribe. And I hope you like this. And if you want to try this out for yourself, um, if you want to try this out for yourself, try to get the beta version on your PC, Xbox, or uh, phone. I don't know if it is on PC or Xbox. I think it is. But on Switch, I don't think there's no beta version. It really is a bummer. I wish you can get like beta version after you purchase the game. But anyhow, um, yeah, you can try it for yourself. Just to let you know that the beta version do have a lot of game crashes and bugs like this. Like I said, like how the skin spazzing out and stuff like that. But, um, I think the one thing that I really appreciate it from the skin is how the characters still blink. But anyhow, I'll see you guys later. And like and subscribe and bye.